Okay, so if you remember from my last stream, I did egg yolk on a saucer and I didn't do it right, but we knew that when it was happening. I was doing a little bit of research on egg tempera today, but it was a little bit scattered, so I don't um, have a whole lot to share about it, but I do have the egg tempera I made like three weeks ago. It's been sitting in my fridge and I figured we could do an experiment and see if it smells. <laughs> what an experiment i was just curious like how long it would last in the fridge because i was looking back at oh yeah i didn't like actually update you guys um my professor from osu her name's julie green she has a egg tempera demo on her website um and this pdf of kind of instructions and uh, a recipe to follow that her husband had um, come up with. And it was the one that I was trying to follow in the stream from like three weeks ago, <laughs> if you were here for that. I couldn't remember the exact ratio of things. So basically his recipe, uh, his name is Clay Lohman. It's one egg yolk, two drops of non-drying oil, such as walnut, sunflower, safflower, or linseed, and then a few drops of water. Mix well with a brush and then mix the egg medium that you just mixed at a one to one ratio with your um, two watercolors. Oh yeah, and it says discard after 24 hours. So that's why I was curious, like, I'm assuming the integrity of it breaks down after a while, but not only that, but like odor wise. And that's the other thing I did wrong. I was like, why is this so yellow looking while I was mixing it? It's because it's supposed to be a one to one ratio of the egg yolk and pigment so i was like using i probably wasted some pigment but so yeah this should have been discarded like two or three weeks ago <laughs> i did take a little bit of a sniff when i was inside because i was like i don't want to take this out there if it's gonna be rancid and it didn't like have a overpowering smell but i mean it smells like old egg you can see it it's definitely like a dark blue which is what the pigment's supposed to be, but it's probably a lot more dilute if I were to paint that than it should be. Basically, you crack the egg. Do it on the flat surface. If I make a mess, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Oh no, making a mess, f***ing it up. Oh no, please don't crack. Okay, good. I brought out two eggs just in case I accidentally broke the yolk. Broke the yolk. All right, so now, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say, okay, 6,000 times. So then you take the, take a water bottle that's empty and you're not gonna drink out of ever again. And you squeeze it. You put it on top of the yolk, suck it in, and then you can separate the white from the yolk. I found that this is just the easiest way to, to separate it out and not, hopefully not crack it. And then I just have these containers. I'm just gonna let it plop into my hand. And then there's a little bit of egg white on it still, so I'll try not to get that in. But you can just like pinch it or however you wanna do it, just pop it and let the yolk pour into the container. And you can just discard that. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our egg yolk. So we gotta make, finish making this and then we're gonna move on to the pigment. So if you remember from last time, we take, um, I have some walnut oil and I just take the end of the paintbrush and just dip it in. And then I just want, oops, shit, one single drop and I put that in. I think she said one single drop. What did it say? Two drops, two drops. There we go, drop number two. And then it says a few drops of water. I'll add a teeny bit of water. Eh, that's good. Now is when we want to divide it into, like I wanna do, that's the other thing I have to decide is what colors do I want this to be? I think making it yellow won't be that bad. 
but the fact that my board is blue and adding yellow to that, it's probably gonna get kind of green looking. So maybe, is my white dry? Uh, why don't I do, I wasn't gonna do this, but why don't I do a wash kind of of white over top of this so maybe I can get this to be a little bit lighter. And this way we can just experiment and see what working with this stuff is like because it's been a while. So I'm just gonna take some of my white watercolor and squeeze it in here. I don't know how much I'm gonna need and it said a one-to-one -one ratio. Two watercolors at about a one-to-one -one ratio depending on the color and desired effect. So I'm not gonna go crazy using up all my white. And now I'll just drip a little bit. Should I bring you in closer? Just pour a little bit. Yeah, it's like one to one, right? Maybe. It feels more liquidy than I remember. Like I remember it being very gummy. But yeah, that'll that'll help lighten it up a bit. 